Hi there, welcome back. I have a project here I want to share with you. This is a St. Patrick's Day loaded bag. Um, it is for a swap over on the Facebook page. Um, swap it. And I just want to share it with you real quick um, and show you what I created. Um, I do want to say that it was really hard for me to find any St. Patrick's Day craft supplies. It is still pretty early in February and not a lot of my local stores have their St. Patrick's Day craft supplies out. So I went around to a whole bunch of different stores to find some things. So some of the stuff that I have in here was already in my stash. And some of the stuff I did purchase. Some of the stuff I printed off the computer. Some of it was handmade. So let me just share with you what I have. As you can see, this is the front of the pocket. And then this is the back side. Um, this is a double pocket here on the front. I have a long pocket up here. I also have a pocket here on the front that's closed and then the one on the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these front pockets first. And I'm going to show you what I have in this first one. And this is what I have in the first pocket. We have a gold doily. We have a cupcake topper. We have some tags. This one here I made with some paper that I had in my stash. It's green and white polka dotted. And I just topped it onto a tag that I had in my stash. These tags here I printed off the computer. And then on all of them I just added some gold trims and seam binding and things like that from my stash. These cute little cards here I printed off the computer. This one is my favorite. I just love this little boy on the front of it. And it says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. This one says the same thing. And then this one here at the bottom says, Wishing you a lucky day. And then this one here says, May you have the luck of the Irish. And then Happy St. Patrick's Day. So I thought those were really cute. Um, she could use them as little cards, and she could, they're blank on the back, so she could write a little note on them. I just thought those were really, really cute for St. Patrick's Day. And then we have a green doily. Um, this one here is, this little shamrock came from the Dollar Tree on some flowers, and I just clipped this off of the flowers, and then I added it in my pocket. Um, as you can see in my loaded bag here, I do have some brown um, throughout, and I just thought it needed a little something other than just the green um, and gold. So I just thought uh, I would use this brown, and then I found this paper in my stash with the gold foil on it. Um, and I just, it's a six by six sheet of paper, um, and I just fold it in half, and I'm using it as my mail tag. So I just have some information in there, and then I just have some um, ribbon there. I turned it into like a tag, and then I just added this sticker to the front of it. So that's in my um, front pocket here, and then in this um, second pocket we have bunch more goodies. We have this envelope that was in my stash um, and then I just added this pinch proof um, like Project Life card. This was printed off the computer though. Um, so just like a little card and just glued it onto the back of the envelope and then I just have um, some goodies down in there for her. And then we have some of this uh, pipe cleaner. Uh, we have some feathers that I created. And I just added some gold, um, 
oh, what do you call that, um, gold foil um, embossing. So embossing powder. So I did the tip on this one. I did the side on this one. And then on this one here, I just did the edges of the, um, the feather all the way around. And I just cut them out of the brown um, brown cardstock paper. And then this here was actually from the Dollar Spots at Target this year in their Valentine's Day stuff. And I'm just using it because it's gold and it works perfect for the St. Patrick's Day theme. And I just have it holding these two cute St. Patrick's Day tickets. Um, I did print these off the computer. Just thought they were cute to throw in there. And then this was in my stash. It's just a round tag that was gifted to me on um, either a loaded bag or a pocket letter that I had received from, from someone else. So just thought I'd throw that in there because it's gold. It works perfect. And then this envelope I did create using my Martha Stewart scoreboard with some gold and white paper here and as you can see it's very sparkly. Um, I just have it closed with a green arrow paper clip and it just has more like cards in there like more St. Patrick's Day cards and some St. Patrick's Day stickers. So I thought that was super cute. And then here on the front pocket is where I embellished it a little bit just by using one of those flowers from the Dollar Tree um, and I just hot glued it onto the front of the bag and then the St. Patrick's Day ribbon and I think I got that at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm pretty sure I got that at the Dollar Tree. And then I have this little envelope that I created on the front with some shamrocks on the inside of that and then to clip it to my bag here I just have this clip from Michaels and I have a St. Patrick's Day button on it and then I created this cute little vial of gold beads and I just clipped it to the this clip here so it was like one of those little clasp things there so that that goes on the front of my pocket so there you can see that's a double pocket there and then here is also a pocket um, I just used some green and white twine and I turned it into a tassel on the end just so it wasn't just like at the end of that and then here I have a shamrock sticker and then here on the other side of this flap here I have an eyelet and I have this um, yarn tassel that I made and added some gold ribbon to it and then instead of using the yarn to attach it I put on a gold chain with a green bead here and then I just have it clipped into the eyelid. So this opens up and it has another shamrock sticker there and then inside this I just have some of these green gems from Michaels and I have some more stickers. Uh, they did not come like this. Uh, I just took one sheet of this and one sheet of this and put them in one thing together. So I could give her two different things of stickers. And those slide in there into that pocket there. And then on the top back pocket here, we have going to close that but I'll just wait. We have a wand that I created using 
um, a straw and some stickers and some green and gold ribbon with green and gold um, sequins trim and um, I made this rosette out of green cardstock and then on the reverse side it has a wooden shamrock and I believe I got these wooden shamrocks at um, Hobby Lobby so everything's just hot glued together and then I just have a sticker shamrock sticker in there then I have this large tag that I created it's very simple not much to it um, added some gold paper some um, what do you call that? Some crate paper, um, a like card that I printed off the computer and added a little shamrock sticker and then we have some green burlap there. Oh and some little pearl, flat back pearl, sticky pearls there. And then a sheet of letter stickers and then I just added this at the top because it is sticking out of the um, pocket a little bit. So then on the reverse side of this bag, I have another pocket. Oops, that fell out. So that's what that looks like there. We have another little wand. This one's just made out of crepe paper, a button, and some gold sequins trim. And I use the brown and black um, straw on this one. And then we have another one of those shamrocks that I clipped off of the flowers. Okay, then we have, I'm just going to pull it all out. And we have some gold gems. We have another tag that I had in my stash and I just added a shamrock sticker to that so it is white on the back um these here is something new that um i just started creating these are called um, stick pins um, and i just thought they were super super cute um, one's green one's gold and i thought i would just add them in they're very simple there's not much to them um because i these are the first ones that i've ever made so i just thought i'd throw those in there because I just, I thought they were super cute. And then we have um, some cards here. These are little vintage cards. And I thought those were super cute. So I got these off the computer. Um, and I added those to the pocket. Then on this one here we have a sticker paper clip that I made and it's just backed with some paper and then in this little envelope I had in my stash and this is my currently so I just have a sticker there and then I have my currently on the other side the super cute then we have a shaker pocket that um, I made I just layered this card and then just put this sequins in here and then one of those gold coins this bag is one of those resealable sticky bags um, i thought it would be easier if she wanted to reuse this um, for a card or something and then maybe if she wanted to use the sequins so i just something a little different than using your fuse tool and stuff to create the pocket letter or the shaker pocket and then here I have another envelope with a card on the inside um, I thought the stickers were super super cute these came from uh, Dollar Tree and it almost looks like that wax seal that you can do um, like they used to do back in the day except for it doesn't want to stick so but it, it's really cute just for look I guess so then I, I created this envelope using my Martha Stewart punch board. It is the same size as, as this one here um, that I created. 
Um, and then here's this cute little card that I made. It's really simple and it just has my letter to her on the inside of the card. I'm thinking about making another one of these cards just in case she wanted to reuse this envelope because I left it pretty simple. I didn't put anything on it. Um, so I'm thinking about making another card so she could use this envelope and another card um, to gift some to someone else. So I probably will do that. Um, so yeah, there is my loaded St. Patrick's Day loaded bag. If you have, oh, let me show you the bag real quick. So this is the front without anything in it. Um, really super, super cute. If you want to know how I created the bag, uh, just leave a comment down below and I can do a tutorial on how I created this super cute um, loaded bag. So, so yeah. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.